We got a lot of information on Sony's next-gen console this week, including a holiday 2020 release window, details on the next controller, and confirmation that the system is indeed called the PlayStation 5. What we still don't have are firm details about its 8K graphics support. Sony says, PS5 will have support for 8K graphics. Does this mean the PlayStation 5 will be the first 8K home console? Let's not get our hopes up just yet. One of three things needs to happen for the PS5 to natively output games in 8K. It needs to be delayed a couple years, or it needs to be enormously expensive, or its 8K support needs to be in actuality some clever marketing. The most powerful graphics card on the market today is the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. At the highest settings, it pushes The Witcher 3 to just under 70 frames per second in 4K. It is truly a thing of beauty. With 11 gigs of GDDR6 memory, it has a list price of $1,200. To get this sort of performance from a PC requires at least another $500 in components. So, $1,700 for 70 frames per second and 4K. That means an 8K console coming out in 2020 is a very tall order. Considering that we've only just recently crossed into the comfortable world of high refresh rate 4K gaming, the idea of another technological leap coming in another year to a console is extremely unlikely. On top of that, we are only just now starting to see consumer-ready 8K displays. But even the least expensive 8K displays are still way out of reach for the average consumer. That will change, and quickly, if 4K adoption is any indication, but probably not for at least two or three more years. Which brings us to what all this talk of 8K gaming probably is clever marketing. The PS5 will most certainly support the HDMI 2.1 standard, which supports 4K resolution at 120Hz refresh rate, or 8K at 60 hertz. It wouldn't be a lie to say any device with HDMI 2.1 supports 8K video. It's also possible the PS5 will use some of the tricks used by the PS4 Pro updated to render 8K graphics for PS5. The PS4 Pro doesn't actually produce a true 4K picture. Instead, it uses techniques like checkerboarding to conserve bandwidth. Sony could improve on and implement a similar system for a hypothetical 8K console. So, will the PS5 support 8K graphics? Absolutely. Will it be able to render 8K graphics natively? That's trickier to say. Given where technology is now and the current costs associated with getting true 4K graphics from a PC, it would seem unlikely. Of course, comparing PC specs to console specs isn't really fair because both are built so differently and even the best gaming PC still has to do all sorts of things consoles don't need to worry about. But for now, keep your PS5 expectations in check because an 8K machine is extremely unlikely given the current state and immediate future of technology. Though we can always keep our fingers crossed. For more on PlayStation 5, check out this video where we explain what buzzwords like ray tracing and haptic feedback mean. And I'll see you next time on IGN Now.